test two. Hello, this is the Cambridge English Movers Listening Test. Look at part one. Now look at the picture. Listen and look. There is one example. Look, Mrs. Cross. This is a photo of part of my village. That's nice. Are you in it? No, but my classmate Julia is. Can you see her? Is that her? The girl who's looking out of the window. That's right. She's drinking lemonade. Can you see the line? This is an example. Now you listen and draw lines. One. Do you know all the people in this photo? Yes. My uncle Nick's there. Look, is he the man who's sitting on the stairs? Yes, he's trying to catch a fish, but he's not very good at it. <laughs> oh dear. Two. And is that your mum's friend, Lily? Where? She's outside the shop. Oh yes. That's right. She's holding my baby brother. Three. Are any of your friends in the photo? Yes. My friend is at the bus stop. She's called Daisy. Why is she skipping? She always does that. She loves it. Four. Who's that woman? The one who's wearing glasses. It's Mary. She's got a big bag. Yes, I think she's going shopping. Five. And can you see Jim? What's he doing? He's looking at the sea. He likes doing that. And is that your dog next to him? Yes, it is. Now listen to part one again. One. Do you know all the people in this photo? Yes, my uncle Nick's there. Look, is he the man who's sitting on the stairs? Yes. He's trying to catch a fish, but he's not very good at it. <laughs> oh dear. Two. And is that your mum's friend, Lily? Where? She's outside the shop. Oh yes, that's right. She's holding my baby brother. Three. Are any of your friends in the photo? Yes, my friend is at the bus stop. She's called Daisy. Why is she skipping? She always does that. She loves it. Four. Who's that woman? The one who's wearing glasses. It's Mary. She's got a big bag. Yes. I think she's going shopping. Five. And can you see Jim? What's he doing? He's looking at the sea. He likes doing that. And is that your dog next to him? Yes, it is. 
That is the end of part one. Part two. Listen and look. There is one example. Jane, would you like some new clothes for your birthday? No, thanks, Mom. What would you like then? My friends got a new computer game. Can I have one of those? A computer game? Okay. Can you see the answer? Now you listen and write. One. What's the name of the computer game? It's called In the Zoo. Oh, that's not right. It's In the Jungle. In the Jungle? Yes. You have to find the animals which are hiding. It's great. Two. Is it a good game for children of your age? Yes. It says on the box that it's for ages 8 to 13. 30? No, 13. But you can play it too, Mom. Three. Where can I buy it? In the computer shop in town. It's called Game World. Sorry? Game World. Oh, I know. It's near my favorite cafe. That's right. Four. And what do you want to do on your birthday? Can I invite Kim Smith to our house? Kim who? Smith. You know, S. M. I. T. H. Oh, yes. That's fine. Five. And Mom? Yes? Please, can I have a birthday cake? Yes. I can make one for you. Great. With a picture of a kangaroo on it? A kangaroo? Oh, Jane, that's difficult. Now listen to part two again. One. What's the name of the computer game? It's called In the Zoo. Oh, that's not right. It's in the jungle. In the jungle? Yes. You have to find the animals which are hiding. It's great. Two. Is it a good game for children of your age? Yes. It says on the box that it's for ages 8 to 13. 30? No, 13. But you can play it too, Mom. Three. Where can I buy it? In the computer shop in town. It's called Game World. Sorry? Game World. Oh, I know. It's near my favorite cafe. That's right. Four. And what do you want to do on your birthday? Can I invite Kim Smith to our house? Kim who? Smith. You know, S-M-I-T-H. Oh, yes. That's fine. Five. And Mom? Yes. Please, can I have a birthday cake? Yes. I can make one for you. Great. With a picture of a kangaroo on it? 
A kangaroo? Oh, Jane, that's difficult. That is the end of part two. Part three. Listen and look. There is one example. Zoe is telling her grandfather about people she knows and their favourite food. What food do these people like best? Hi, Grandpa. Mum's making a big salad. Wow! Do you like that? Yes, and my dad loves it too. That's his favourite food. He eats it every day. Well, it's good for him. I know. I told him that too. Can you see the letter B? Now you listen and write a letter in each box. One. I know which food Grandma enjoys eating. Do you? Yes. Because she always makes them when we go to the beach for a picnic. You're a clever girl. And she makes them for lunch too. So I think she likes sandwiches best. You're right. She does. I want her to teach me how to make those. Two. My cousin, Charlie, came to our house yesterday. We watched a film about a pop star in the afternoon. Did you eat something too? No, we didn't because we weren't hungry. But Charlie made some huge chocolate milkshakes for us. Were they nice? Yes. Charlie often makes those. He likes them a lot. And so do I. Three. What does your brother like best? Oh, he's always eating. He loves all food. I know he likes it when we cook chicken. That's right. But he loves pancakes more than that. And I like those too. Let's make them for him today. Four. I know your little sister doesn't like eating lots of things. That's right. Sometimes she doesn't eat the food Mum gives her. That's naughty. Yes, but she always wants me to give her cheese. She loves that. That's her favourite food, then. You're right, Grandpa. Five. My best friend's called Julia. I know. I met her last year at your party in the park. Oh yes, that was an exciting day, and I think everyone ate lots of ice cream. Does she like that? Yes, but she likes noodles best. She says she enjoys eating them with chopsticks. Now listen to part three again. One. I know which food Grandma enjoys eating. Do you? Yes, because she always makes them when we go to the beach for a picnic. You're a clever girl. And she makes them for lunch too. So I think she likes sandwiches best. You're right. She does. I want her to teach me how to make those. Two. My cousin Charlie came to our house yesterday. We watched a film about a pop star in the afternoon. Did you eat something too? No, we didn't because we weren't hungry. But Charlie made some huge chocolate milkshakes for us. Were they nice? Yes, Charlie often makes those. He likes them a lot. And so do I. Three. What does your brother like best? 
Oh, he's always eating. He loves all food. I know he likes it when we cook chicken. That's right, but he loves pancakes more than that. And I like those too. Let's make them for him today. Four. I know your little sister doesn't like eating lots of things. That's right. Sometimes she doesn't eat the food Mum gives her. That's naughty. Yes, but she always wants me to give her cheese. She loves that. That's her favourite food, then. You're right, Grandpa. Five. My best friend's called Julia. I know. I met her last year at your party in the park. Oh yes, that was an exciting day, and I think everyone ate lots of ice cream. Does she like that? Yes, but she likes noodles best. She says she enjoys eating them with chopsticks. That is the end of part three. Part four. Look at the pictures. Listen, and look. There is one example. What's Peter doing this week? Where's Peter this week? He's on holiday. Are they riding horses again? No. Did you know they've got a boat? Yes. Well, they're painting it. Can you see the tick? Now you listen and tick the box. One. Which man is Sam's piano teacher? My piano teacher's here at the sports centre today. Is that him there, Sam, the man with the beard? No, he hasn't got one. Where is he then? There, look, with a towel on his shoulder. Oh, yes. Two. What's the matter with Paul? How's your cold, Paul? Okay now, thanks. Then what's the matter? Is it your stomach again? It's my leg. It's hurting. Oh dear. Three. Where's Pat? Where's Pat? I don't know. She's not here in the classroom. Oh, there. Look, I can see her. Where is she then? In the playground. She's standing outside the library window. Oh yes. Four. Where did Alex go yesterday? Where did you go yesterday, Alex? I didn't see you at the swimming pool. That's right. I was busy yesterday. What did you do? I went to see my friend Tom. He's in the hospital. Oh. Do you think he would like some apples? Great. Thanks. Five. How did May come to school today? You weren't on the school bus this morning, May. Did you come with your mom? My mom couldn't start her car today. How did you get here then? I've got a new bike, and I came on that. Now listen to part four again. One. Which man is Sam's piano teacher? My piano teacher's here at the sports centre today.
Is that him there, Sam, the man with the beard? No, he hasn't got one. Where is he then? There, look, with a towel on his shoulder. Oh, yes. Two. What's the matter with Paul? How's your cold, Paul? Okay now, thanks. Then what's the matter? Is it your stomach again? It's my leg. It's hurting. Oh dear. Three. Where's Pat? Where's Pat? I don't know. She's not here in the classroom. Oh, there. Look, I can see her. Where is she then? In the playground. She's standing outside the library window. Oh yes. Four. Where did Alex go yesterday? Where did you go yesterday, Alex? I didn't see you at the swimming pool. That's right. I was busy yesterday. What did you do? I went to see my friend Tom. He's in the hospital. Oh. Do you think he would like some apples? Great. Thanks. Five. How did May come to school today? You weren't on the school bus this morning, May. Did you come with your mom? My mom couldn't start her car today. How did you get here then? I've got a new bike, and I came on that. That is the end of part four. Part five. Look at the picture. Listen and color and write. There is one example. Look at this picture of a party. Can I color it? Okay. Do you want to color a glass? A glass. Yes. Color the one in front of the girl with straight hair. Right. I'm coloring it orange now. Can you see the orange glass? This is an example. Now you listen and color and write. One. I think they're drinking juice. Can you see the bottle? Which one? That girl is dropping it on the floor. Oh yes. What color shall I do that bottle? Red. Okay. Two. Do you want to color a banana now? Yes. Which one shall I color? The one that the boy is throwing. Color it green. Right. I'm coloring that banana now. Three. Look at the bowl. The big one on the table. Yes. What do you think is in it? I think it's rice. So do I. I can write on that bowl. That's a good idea. Yes, write rice on it. Okay, I'm doing that now. Four. I like the girls' hats. Me too. Shall I color one of them? Okay. Color the hat with the moon on it. Right. 
Colour it blue. OK, that's a good colour. Five. There are some presents on the table. Yes, they look fantastic. What colour can I make the square one? The square one? Yellow, I think. Do you think the presents are for one of the naughty children? I don't know. Now listen to part five again. One. I think they're drinking juice. Can you see the bottle? Which one? That girl is dropping it on the floor. Oh, yes. What colour shall I do that bottle? Red? OK. Two. Do you want to colour a banana now? Yes. Which one shall I colour? The one that the boy is throwing. Colour it green. Right. I'm colouring that banana now. Three. Look at the bowl. The big one on the table. Yes. What do you think is in it? I think it's rice. So do I. I can write on that bowl. That's a good idea. Yes, write rice on it. OK. I'm doing that now. Four. I like the girls' hats. Me too. Shall I colour one of them? OK. Colour the hat with the moon on it. Right. Colour it blue. OK. That's a good colour. Five. There are some presents on the table. Yes, they look fantastic. What colour can I make the square one? The square one? Yellow, I think. Do you think the presents are for one of the naughty children? I don't know. That is the end of the Movers Listening Test.